It's been about traveling around the world while you're in London in just five days. This is an international competition. It's one that involves over 50 countries, about 50,000 young people aged between 16 and 20 from all over the world, and they take part in national public speaking competitions in their country. The winners then come to the UK for the final, which is all about helping young people to discover their voice. It is an extremely important event that unites young people all over the world they start to embrace diversity. But on top of all that, what they're learning is how to marshal arguments and persuade people so they are going to become very important in their own countries. This is at the heart of international diplomacy. If you take the world map, I believe people who use their voice can be those who take your country as small cities to a bigger platform. So I believe I'm here to use my voice to make my mark, not only in London, but also an international platform, and show them that Sri Lanka is more than just a few kilometers. I myself come from an underprivileged background in the Philippines. It's not very usual for underprivileged people in the Philippines to actually speak English, for example, so I am very, very lucky. I want to be the voice for the people like me, like those who come from underprivileged backgrounds. It's, it's much more than the competition. The young people, when they come to London in May each year, spend a whole week together. The cultural exchange that's involved is enormous. It is a melting pot. The variety of, of people that you're going to meet, the mixing of cultures. We come from different realities, and the fact that we all speak the same language it was amazing. I loved that place. It was a great experience walking in London. It's very different from Sri Lanka, but I loved the country. In the days leading up to the heats, people are going to be talking to us about their speeches, they're going to be delivering parts of them to us one-on-one. -on -one. They trained us in uh, voice modulation, being like a bit dramatic with your speech, pauses. The cultural exchange that happened was amazing. Coming here, it's like my brain just transported me a ride around the earth. Welcome to the final of the English Speaking Union International Public Speaking Competition 2016. Broadly speaking, we're looking at quality of delivery, pacing, how well they connect with their audience, how natural they are as a speaker in the room. It's a question really of coming across with your heart and with your arguments. Everybody did something different and everybody did it great. The delivery, the content was just amazing. Today, I shall speak to you all on the power of humanity. My mother could have very easily given me up. Instead, she chose to see me not as her broken rule, but as her one redemption. See, that's the thing about us. We choose the easy way, not the right way. Honor your word and practice the good things to grab that integrity. That's it. This is the power within us. The power of choice. The outcome of those things can bring a lot of integrity to entire populations. What a wonderful afternoon it has been. What an amazing system it is to bring you all together, from Zimbabwe to Mongolia, from Sweden to Australia, and everything in between. It is truly international. We have the winner of 2016 International Public Speaking Competition, who is Vivian Garcia Kano. It's amazing. I honestly am very happy. You know, I'm glad to go home and show people that Mexicans, you know, we can do important things. Genuinely, it sounds so cliche to say it, but what I got for winning is nothing compared to what I got for competing. Just all the friends that I will have for the rest of my life and all the love that I got from those people. It's such a well-organized competition. It was so amazing to be here. I think that this is a must for every single public speaker. I'm really excited to go home with a natural award to show what I did here. And when I go back to Ghana, I would expose the opportunity to young people. What we have here are extraordinarily talented and sophisticated young people, all of whom I suspect are going to make their mark in the world. It's a very good platform for their future to spread their wings and fly to anywhere they want. <laughs>